सेवेंथ क्वेश्चन शो दैट द सर्किल्स सर्किल्स एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर माइनस फोर एक्स माइनस सिक्स वाई माइनस ट्वेल्व इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर प्लस सिक्स एक्स प्लस एटीन वाई प्लस ट्वेंटी सिक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो टच ईच अदर टच ईच अदर फाइंड द पॉइंट ऑफ कंटैक्ट पॉइंट ऑफ कंटैक्ट एंड कॉमन टेंजेंट एंड कॉमन टेंजेंट दिस इज ऑल्सो एक्सपेक्टेड क्वेश्चन ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू द टू लॉन्ग आंसर टाइप क्वेश्चन विल अपियर फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर सो आउट ऑफ टू लॉन्ग आंसर टाइप क्वेश्चन डेफिनेटली वन क्वेश्चन विल बी ऑस्कड ऑन द कॉमन टेंजेंट्स क्वेश्चन सो दैट मीन्स Dear students, you are better to concentrate on this one, finding the equations of the common tangents and their points of contacts. So let us come to the this problem. So we have to prove that these two circles touch each other. How do they touch each other? There will be two ways. They touch externally or they touch internally. so even though they touch internally or externally we get only one equation of the tangent so that equation of the tangent in a very simple manner we can find out after putting these two equations in standard form if you subtract one equation from other equation and equate it to zero we get equation of the tangent common tangent suppose the first equation is s is equal to 0 Second equation is s dash is equal to zero. The equation of the common tangent is s minus s dash is equal to zero. This is very simple. The equation of the common tangent very simple. We can find out if the two circles touch each other, either externally or internally. But only point of contact we have to find out. Point of contact means if the two circles touch externally. the point of contact is the point which divides the line joining the segment of centers in the ratio of their radii radii means r1 is to r2 that is internally suppose they touch internally at that time we have to find out the point which divides line joining the centers Our line segment joining the centers in the ratio r1 is to r2 externally. Okay, so now first of all we have to check whether the two circles touch externally or internally. That means whether the two circles touch internally or externally. So now given circles. Yes is equal to x square plus y square minus four x minus six y minus twelve is equal to zero. Say second circle S dash x square plus y square plus six x plus eighteen y plus twenty six is equal to zero. Now. in order to prove that the two circles touch each other we require to find out center of the first circle center of the second circle radius of the first circle radius of the second circle so first center of the first circle c1 minus g comma minus f 
we know g is minus 2 f is minus 3 2 comma 3 center of the second circle minus 3 comma minus 9 you can check it no problem ok now radius r 1 is equal to we know that root of 4 plus 9 plus 12 this is root 25 so which equal to 5 r 1 is evaluated let us say r 2 here r 2 means root of 9 plus 81 and here minus 26 because c is 26. So, 90 minus 26 that is 64. So, 8. So, now here we have to find out distance between the centers that is called C1, C2. Distance formula root of minus 3 minus 2 x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square minus 9 minus 3 whole square. This is 5 square 25 plus 144 this is root of 169 whose value is 13. Now, we have to establish relation among R1, R2 and distance between the centers. So, just see if we add these two R1 plus R2 is equal to 5 plus 3 that is 13 equal to C1, C2. So, that means we can verify that R1 plus R2 is equal to 13 is equal to C1, C2 bar if r 1 plus r 2 is equal to c 1 c 2 bar then circles touch each other externally the test has been conducted. So, that means now we can draw the figure confidently. So, one circle, one circle means whose radius is bigger, you take is bigger circle, this is a bigger circle, this s dash is equal to 0, the smaller circle touch like this, s is equal to 0, otherwise you can say like this better, smaller and bigger, this smaller, this is bigger, okay. this is c 1, this is C2, this S is equal to 0, S dash is equal to 0. This will be the common tangent. This is the point of contact. This is R1, R2. Okay, now, first we have to find out point of contact. P is a point which divides divides C 1 C 2 in the ratio R 1 is to R 2 that means 5 is to 8 internally internally that means C 1 is equal to what 2 comma 3 C 2 is minus 3 comma minus 9. So, that means we can write like this p x comma y is equal to formula we have r 1 x 2 plus r 2 x 1 by r 1 plus r 2 r 1 y 2 plus r 2 y 1 by r 1 plus r 2. Okay. Let us substitute r 1 is 5 x 2 is minus 3. 5 into minus 3. Now, 8 into x 1, x 1 means 2, 5 plus 8. Next, r 1, 5 into y 2, y 2 is minus 9, okay. plus r 2 is 8 into y 1, y 1 is 3 by 5 plus 8 this is minus 15 plus 16 by 13. This is 
माइनस फोर्टी फाइव प्लस ट्वेंटी फोर बाई थर्टीन सो पॉइंट ऑफ कंटैक्ट इज इक्वल टू हियर वन बाई थर्टीन कामा दिस इज वन टू ट्वेंटी वन माइनस ट्वेंटी वन बाई थर्टीन नाउ वी नो द पॉइंट ऑफ कंटैक्ट बट वॉट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट इक्वेशन टू द कॉमन टेंजेंट इक्वेशन टू द कॉमन टेंजेंट equation to the common tangent is s minus s dash is equal to 0 that means x square plus y square minus 4x minus 4y 6y minus 12 minus of s dash x square plus y square plus 6x plus 18y plus 26 is equal to 0. Now x square x square y square y square cancel we have minus 4x minus 6x minus 6y minus 18y minus 12 minus 26 is equal to 0 minus 10x minus 24y minus 38 is equal to 0 take minus 2 common so 5x plus 12y plus 19 is equal to 0 therefore 5x plus 12y plus 19 is equal to 0 by minus 2 is 0. So, this is the required equation of the common tangent. Okay? Just check it.